What's going on, everybody? Um, word of the day, Wednesday. And today is, is about the process. And uh, I said I repeated it last time because we didn't we didn't really get a chance to touch on it um, how I wanted to. And I wanted to talk about it because we hear about the process, right? Trust in the process. So the process, this, the process that. Um, first off, what even is the process, right? So when you're thinking about the process, right, it's a series of actions or steps taken uh, to achieve a particular end. Uh, and that stuck with me, right? Because when I ask, hey, what's your process, right? Or what are you doing to get to that end? They don't even have the steps in place. You know what I mean? And that, and I had to think about it myself because when I was going through my process, I had to figure out what I needed to do, right? What were the steps I needed to take? Um, so for example, you know, I ask, hey, what do you, what, what do you, what are you doing this for? Why are you training? Why are you playing? Oh, I want to go D1. All right, that's great. Um, but what's your process to get there? And then that's where the questions, right? They they, not, they don't know. They don't know the process. They don't have a, at least a plan of attack. Um, and for me, you know, I got asked that ver that similar question, and that was sparked my mind about the process and how I needed to trust the process and even figure out what the process was. Uh, so, for example, man, my sophomore year of high school, I, I wanted to go D one. I had no process, right? Finally, we ain't had no process. Um, but what we what we did and we were blessed is we we found somebody who went through that process and our big brother Oni. All right. Our big Bernie, our big brother Oni was the example. He went division one. He knew the process. He he whatever actions he took and the steps he took, he gave them to us. And we follow we we followed him. Right? Because he did it. So we, 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 we went. So our process essentially was finding somebody that we say what we want to do. And we said, OK, what's the process to get there? All right. Because you've been there, you know what it takes. Obviously, we're going to have to find our own ways and tweaking it. But sometimes we, we, we're hearing advice from people who've never done. All right. If I wanted to build a house, I wouldn't ask them about the process that it takes to be a Division One football player. You get what I'm saying? You know, so I have to figure out what those actions take. What do I need to do? What are the coaches going to tell me when I get there? Uh, when we <laughs> when we first watched our first football game our senior year, and we thought we balled. I had about four touchdowns. He finally had three, four of them, two, um, you know, over 200 plus yards and this and that. A crazy game. And in my eyes, I thought, man, he, he turned on the film and ripped us. He skipped over all our good plays. And I'm like, whoa. But that's the process because he knew – when we get there, that's how the coaches are going to treat us, all right? Because when you get to that next level, they ain't going to tell you everything you want to hear. You know what I mean? They got you got to trust. <laughs> oh, my first game, I ripped. But if I didn't trust the process before and being able to handle some of that adversity, I wouldn't have been able to even give you this message, deliver you what is the process. Right. Because I see it now. Right. A lot of people just going to find a trainer to work out with and think that's it. And then they bounce around and bounce around and do X, Y and Z. But that's not the process. Right. The process is staying down. Right. Especially if you want to go to a division one, if you want to play college football, period. Right. You got to lock in. You got to lock in. You got to stay with that one person. Not about going to work out here because that's not the process. That's just getting a, a, a workout of the day in. Right. People, you're, the process right now that you're going through is something that takes three or four years to get to, really before that, um, that you want in a couple of months or you want because you're going to the next person or because this person trains X, Y, and Z that you need to be there just because they're Division One or they're in the NFL. No, that's their path. That's their process they took. You take your process, which you need to do. What is your steps? You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm seeing it too much. And Time and time again, this person is doing this, comes here for one day or two. No, that's not how it works. Those are not the right actions. I'm telling you from a place of experience. So whatever it is, whatever your process is that you need to take, go find that person. Because I'm telling you, when you get to that next level, it's not going to be the likes and the Instagram or your friend calling you the goat um, that's going to that's gonna get you there. That's just feeding your ego. Right. The, the, the process is understanding when you get to that particular and you talked about what is going to be like. So really stick it out. 
That's what I'm that's that's the message. Figure out the proper steps, right? And make sure that your proper steps align with the goal you're trying to do. Cause that's the biggest thing. Like, why do you even want to go division one? Or why do you want to go to college? Why do you want to train right now? Is it for because you think it's the cool thing to do? Right? Is it because it's something you really want? And then now, how long are you trying to stay in it? What do you have to sacrifice to, to do it? Right? Because it all ties along some all ways, all words we talked about, sacrifice, adversity. Now it's the process. So they all tie together. You feel what I'm saying? But you need to have your steps in order because you can't just be walking, going here, right? Because if you have a process and the steps you know that you need to take, it's going to help you to eliminate distractions. And distractions, don't get me wrong, are always going to be there. But if you know in your mind, man, this is the end I'm trying to get to, if this is in my way as a distraction, I got to take it out because it's not part of my process. You got to trust it. And then you got to really trust your process when you do it, right? So I encourage everybody right now, man, write your dreams out there, right? Write what you want to get down. Put them goals on a whiteboard, see it every day. And then once you got them goals, figure out the process. What steps you got to do? Who do I have to see? Who do I have to work with? What person do I have to get to, to help me unlock these steps that I don't know? And who am I listening to? Is the people I'm listening to the right people? It's all part of the plan. It's all part of the process. But if you're listening to the people that don't know and are telling you just X, Y, and Z and haven't been there with experience, right now you're already putting yourself behind. So do what you have to do and make sure that you're doing it right. And take every action you have to do to get to that goal because it's possible, it's achievable. And then make sure whoever's in there to help you at least knows what they're talking about and can speak on it from some type of experience. Because that's some things like you can't write down what happens at, at, that, at that next level. You can't write down what happens when you're chasing that scholarship, but them schools aren't really receiving that love that you thought you had. You can't you can't get that feeling, right? You 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 can't some people just understand what it's like when you're not when you are what you think you are, but everybody else is rejecting you. How do you stay down in there, right? How do you still trust your process? So trust it right now. I'm I'm, I'm challenging everybody. Whether it's football, basketball, lacrosse, soccer, right in the job field, whatever, trust the process, but make sure you, your process is in line. And if it doesn't work, man, get a new process, man. Take different steps, take different action. I'm fired up about this one because I believe in the process, right? It might take me a little longer, but I'm going to get to what I need to get to. So that's the word of the day. Trust your process, make it happen, and make sure you go and get it, man, till you see that particular end, that goal you want. And then set another goal and then set another process to get to the next goal. We out of here.